Hey guys, this is EJ Holland with TheWolverine.com and we're going to break down the five highest ranked recruits visiting Michigan this weekend as the Wolverines gear up for their second official visit weekend of June. Before we talk about that, I want to invite you guys to subscribe to TheWolverine.com today for just $29.99 and that gets you six months of premium access. You get insider recruiting information, team information, basketball transfer portal nil and so much more plus you get to be part of a great message board community over on the fort with more than eight thousand unique individual users come interact join the community join the wolverine.com today for all your latest information with official visits in full swing you won't want to miss the latest on everything michigan recruiting subscribe for just 29.99 for six months. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to break down the five highest rated recruits officially visiting Michigan this weekend. And there's some heavy hitters coming in, including Justin Scott, who's going to be first on our list, the number eight overall recruit in the country, the number two defensive lineman nationally out of Chicago, St. Ignatius. Justin Scott is an absolute game changer in the interior of the defensive line. He can be that massive nose prospect. He can play the three technique. He's a guy that's just so big and so athletic. He moves so well for his size. I've had a chance to see him live a couple of times, and he just checks so many boxes. He has the look and the skill set of an elite defensive lineman. Again, there's just so much to like when it comes to Justin Scott. Now, where does Michigan stand going into the visit? Well, there's some work to do. Miami is considered the favorite right now. Obviously, the Hurricanes have a lot to offer from an NIL perspective, as well as some warm weather away from the Windy City. Uh, Notre Dame has long been considered uh, a big-time player in this recruitment. Georgia has recently improved its stock as well. So I think Michigan's behind those three schools right now. But the fact that Michigan's even getting an OV, I think, is a win for this staff. They'll have a chance to really impress him and his mom on the visit and really show what Michigan can offer away from the field when it comes to development as well, especially with defensive linemen. I think all of that will move the needle for Justin Scott. Obviously, there's a lot of Chicago, Chicago land representation on the roster, and I think that'll help Scott really feel at home as well. Uh, right now, though, I would give Miami the edge, so we'll see if anything changes this weekend. Second guy on the list is five-star wide receiver Ryan Wingo out of St. Louis University School. Uh, 22 overall prospect in the country, the number five wide receiver nationally. Ryan Wingo, man, would be a guy that could come in and start day one. I had a chance to see him live at the overtime finals last year, and he's just such an elite guy. On the outside, six foot two, 215 pounds, strong hands, great build, really physical outside receiver. When you look at Michigan's wide receiver board, there's some quality options there. Obviously, you have a commit in, Sh in Channing Goodwin. You have a lean in Amarion Stewart. You have Jordan Ship, who has Michigan in that top group. And all of them are kind of in that same range around the 325 to 400 range, all like low four-star level prospects, all really good pass catchers. But when it comes to that elite, elite guy, that's Ryan Wingo. He can provide a change to this offense. He can be such a dynamic weapon. I think Michigan has work to do, though. It's obviously hard to sell uh, Wingo on Michigan's scheme since it's been so run heavy the past couple of seasons. But um, he has a great relationship with Ron Bellamy. He knows that uh, J.J. McCarthy could open up the offense this year. Michigan has a highly touted quarterback commit to sell in Jaden Davis. So, you know, get him in for an OV and see what happens. Georgia, the heavy favorite right now, I would expect him to side with the Bulldogs, but Michigan's very capable of moving the needle this weekend. Third on the list is Bryce West, the number 54 overall recruit nationally. Uh, number six, cornerback in the country. Look, Michigan's trying to land an elite corner this cycle. Whether it's Bryce West or Aaron Scott or both, 
Michigan wants at least one of them in the class. I think West is going to be a little bit tougher to land than Aaron Scott. He goes to Glenville High School in Cleveland, which has traditionally been Ohio State friendly. Ohio State has a 97% chance to win him over, according to the On3 recruiting prediction machine. The Buckeyes are also set to get him last for an OV on June 23rd. On top of that, I have my pick in for the Buckeyes. So what can Michigan do to win him over this weekend? Pitch him on coming in and playing right away. Look at the corner um, depth chart right now. I mean, you have Jair Hill, who is obviously a talented land last cycle, but there are just so many question marks when it comes to who's going to be the guy opposite of Will Johnson. Well, you can com- commit and com- come in and compete for that starting job right away next year. I think Bryce West is just that talented. He's a speedy guy as well. I believe he ran into 10 fives in the 100 meter this offseason, really improving his track time. So um, he has a great relationship with Steve Klinkscale, who's his lead recruiter and the area recruiter in Ohio. He has great relationships with some of the guys from Ohio that are committed in the class, like Jordan Marshall. So, look, Michigan's going to throw everything at Bryce West this weekend. Will they create some movement? We'll see, but right now Ohio State has the lead. Fourth on the list is Jordan Johnson Rubel, the number 148 prospect nationally, the number 11 safety in the country. I love Jordan Johnson Rubel. I think Michigan can become a true dark horse in this recruitment after the OV. If there's a guy that Michigan can really move the needle with uh, this weekend, it's Jordan Johnson Rubel. He just fits the profile of a Michigan kid. He's extremely versatile in the secondary. He can play corner. He can play nickel. He can play safety. Jay Harbaugh has done a fantastic job of recruiting him. Steve Klinkscale has been very involved as well. Um, Look, he's originally from Texas, even though he plays at IMG Academy. That's why Texas is the heavy favorite. But he's very open, already plays away from home at the high school level. So I don't think he would have a problem playing away from home at the college level. The first time he ever visited Michigan was a really quick, unofficial visit. This time he'll really have more of a chance to get ingrained in the culture, which again, like I said, I think he's a perfect fit. This will also be his mother's first time on campus. If Michigan can win her over, then I think the Wolverines will be in a much better spot. Lastly, we're going to talk about Bennett Warren, the number 170 overall prospect nationally and the number 13 offensive tackle in the country out of Fort Bend, Texas. He goes to Fort Bend Christian Academy, which is a really small private school right now. Bennett Warren is more of a developmental prospect, even though he's ranked really high. I mean, he's a massive guy at six foot eight, 330 pounds, but he's still very raw from a technical standpoint. He's very much your high ceiling, low floor type of offensive lineman, but that's completely fine because Michigan already has five offensive line commits. Um, And I think you can afford to take a developmental prospect as your sixth guy. Um, I think Michigan's a a true player here. It wouldn't be surprising to see Michigan retake the lead. Uh, If Bennett Warren's name sounds familiar for some casual Michigan recruiting fans, it's because Michigan took the lead for Bennett Warren after his spring game visit. Since then, Michigan's dropped off a little bit. Texas A&M has become more of a player. They just hosted him for an OV. Oklahoma is set to receive an official visit. Oregon set to receive an official visit. Warren also said he might not commit till the fall. Um, so it's not a guarantee that Michigan does take six offensive linemen this cycle. But if Warren were to try to commit to Michigan, they would happily accept it. Um, I do, again, think the Wolverines are in a good spot here, but Warren's been one of those kids that has changed his mind with visits. So we'll see how this weekend goes, and we'll see how the rest of his official visit slate goes as well. Uh, That's going to be it, guys. Appreciate you for joining me over on our Wolverine YouTube channel. Make sure to hit the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. That is completely free and make sure to subscribe to the wolverine.com for $29.99 for six months and that gets you insider information throughout the weekend on all 13 official visitors